हेलो फ्रेंड्स जय हिंद सी बी एस ई बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन डेट्स हैज बिन डिक्लेयर बाय द सी बी एस ई बोर्ड ड्यू टू कोविड सिचुएशन मोस्ट ऑफ द स्कूल्स फॉर क्लोज एंड ड्यू टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस देर इज अ फियर अबाउट द मैथमेटिक्स इन द स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर कवरिंग द सेम टॉपिक केयर हाउ टू ओवरकम फ्रॉम द फियर ऑफ mathematics the contents of my video is number 1 not completely understanding the method before using it number 2 studying the cramming instead of practicing you regularly practicing the previous year questions just before the board number 4 depending only the completely on the school textbook questions not examining previous school based test papers regarding calculator as an efficient means seventh using the wrong units relying on the mental calculations and the untidy answer sheet majority of the student consider board exam as the stressful phase despite the strict study sessions and the hard work we somehow end up making small and common mistakes in the board exams without even realizing most of us perceiving languages theories historical dates and the grammar as the great shelter but how about the maths uh, most of the students find maths is a tricky subject the averson out towards the subject makers feel clueless as we start practicing maths and it's uh, clear the possibility of committing common mistakes in the math exams get higher but don't you worry there is a hope so student even the greatest thing that equate perfection in the result of consistent practice not just in regards to math is the same with any skill that an individual seeks to master so appearing for the board this year you uh, students check out the most common mistakes made in math exams pointed out by the board examiner that prevent the students from scoring full marks so let's start number 1 is not completely understanding the method before using it practice is the key to perfection only if the method is correct usually most of us think that we are clear about the theory that has been explained in the classes but once we jump into the exercise section or solving questions that involves the calculus and its applications we end up feeling totally blank or end up being totally mistaken about the uh, a thing when it actually involve entire different meanings so before applying any calculus method and theories be sure to understand it clearly and truly number 2 studying and cramming instead of practicing regularly math is not a subject that can be mastered by cramming by the formulas it is a subject that requires sincere and regular practice despite the fact most of the students tend to ignore maths and postpone the practice for the last minute and eventually end up regretting always remember a few days is not enough for board so practice the covered topics and never wait for the 11th hour number 3 practicing the previous year question just before the board previous year questions are the most important tool that provide you with a vivid insight into the pattern of the questions and the distribution of the marks to the variety of questions given most of us neglect the importance of previous year questions and keep it untouched however regularly practicing the previous year questions from the beginning will help you master the practical application of the theories and that you once find difficult and tricky number 4 depending only and completely on the school textbook questions 
Finishing every single question from the exercise book sounds a big deal. By sticking to the textbook alone is not enough when it comes to board. The school books will not render exposure to the variety of question and method that the other book provide. During the board, it is more obvious that a similar question is asked in a tricky manner. This is very important. Thus, expose yourself to various questions and do not hesitate to solve the questions from the different textbooks. Number five, not examining previous school-based test papers. The test conducted in your class plays a major part in boosting your performance. Enhance your practice and determines in boosting your final grades. It also brings you a chance to review your performance, the common mistakes in math exams that you are likely to make and give you a chance to learn from mistakes. So it will be beneficial to recheck the questions that you have gotten wrong in the class text and be extra careful from making the same mistake in board examinations. Number six, regarding calculator as an efficient means. When it comes to calculation, calculators are the lifesaver, not just in everyday life, but on board as well. However, you need to punch the correct formulas to get the accurate answers. Whether they allow you to bring your calculator in the examination or not, but make sure you to double check the answer sheet in the end when you are going to submit. However, some of us skip the process and end up making this little and common examination mistake that still the grades. Number seven, which is most important, using the wrong units. Well, this is potential stumbling block. Majority of the students do not pay attention to the large difference between the units. Units can be real trouble for many while solving the math problems. Many students do not consider pay attention to it at all, resulting in the grade deductions. Thus, you need to be very alert, very careful with the units given in the questions. Mostly when you are asked to convert centimeter to millimeter or vice versa. Relying on the mental calculations. It is fine to skip the step that it's about addition or subtraction. However, many students make common examining mistake by skipping a few steps in problem solving in by doing mental calculations in order to save time. You may trust in your calculating abilities, but however, all the mental calculations are not always correct. This will lead to the wrong answer even when the method and the steps are correct. So this is one of the most common mistakes made in math exams that you need to avoid. Number nine, unable to manage the time. Time management is the biggest tool in this. Yes, it's board examination. All the students are under the pressure to attempt all the questions under the allotted time without overlooking the accuracy. The students should focus on the time management and should be mentally aware of not spending too much time on a single problem. However, some of us fail to manage the given time and end up with less amount of time with the questions that are easy. Number 10. Untidy answer sheet. Writing correct answer is one thing and keeping the answer sheet neat is another thing. Mathematics requires a lot of rough works and calculations. So to avoid having a messy answer sheet, you can do the rough work on the separate loose paper or loose sheet that will be provided to, in the, to you in the beginning. If not provided, you can use a margin. You can draw a margin on either side of the paper to do the rough work calculation. Apart from these common mistakes made in math exams, there are other things that hamper the performance of the student on the boards, such as laziness, awareness for the best subject, unclear concept of the basic, etc., etc. But, uh, dear friends, however, the 
truth is that board examinations are not pressure inflicted upon you it's rather a most interesting way to learning despite all the fear and thrill the board examination brings it is designed to enhance your learning and for your intellectual growth so our channel myself wish you all the best for your exams with new topic we will meet again till then jai hind jai bharat